So welcome to the Streamsy community call of 25th January 2024. I hope I got it right this time. Uh, and the first point on the agenda is PR and issues. Uh, I edit some of them here. Uh, Paul, I use this one is on you to rebase it, fix the test and merge it. Sorry, I'm just uh, putting my name on the doc. So what's this one? That's the one about- uh, Oh yes, the... yes. Well, I'm uh, just, um, I don't have many approvals yet. So I'm just waiting for uh, a consensus uh, on this one and then I'll, uh... I don't intend to make any further changes anyway. So it's either we, we merge it in or, well, or we don't. Failing the test and you oh, probably right. so, need, okay. to, uh, need to uh, rebase it as well. Right, yeah, I can do that. And you have approval from Paul so I guess you can merge it if you want. Okay, well, I'll sort that one out then. Okay, next one is this thing. So what are we going to do with this? So uh, I've been trying to get a fix for this upstream and I've been having some trouble with the cruise control maintainer. Um, I just sent him another follow-up like an hour ago um, to see if he'll merge the fix I have for upstream. Um, but I don't know. There was some pushback on it. Um, I think it was just an understanding, a misunderstanding on his part. But anyway, the fix that is included in this PR will work. It's not perfect, but it will work. And I don't think it'll have the overhead caused by um, this addition won't be bad at all. So I would recommend we just merge this until... I can get the official fix upstream cruise and upstream cruise control. Isn't it better to first see if we can get the fix in cruise control before merging this and then removing it again? Well, yes, I've been working with, I've been trying to get a fix merged in upstream cruise control, but I'm having some trouble and I don't know, uh, I don't know how long it will take or if I'll be able to convince the maintainer to get the fix in upstream cruise control. So Yeah, but I think we have this issue there for several years probably. So so does it really make sense to merge something now and then remove it? Uh it depends how critical this issue is. Um how how bothersome this problem is. If it's a if it's a big problem, I mean, if it's gone on for years, it, I guess it's not that big of an issue, so we can leave it open. Um, but yeah, I just figure my reasoning is just like let's just fix it now, and if we take it out two weeks from now or a year from now, at least it's addressed in the meantime. But it's totally up to to you guys. I it doesn't matter to me. You can we can wait for upstream cruise control. We can not, it, it doesn't really matter to me. I just wanted to fix there to address the issue. So uh, just one question, Kyle, I should go through the cruise control issue, uh, but um, just to understand it to have, in order to have some mm, yeah, thoughts from you, uh, you have got pushbacks because of uh, so they don't think it's an issue or they don't like the solution or uh, any other reason? So they they have a hard-coded config that they use for LinkedIn. And um, so they figure, oh, we don't want the config. So anyway, I'm we're making, I'm offering a configuration upstream to uh, allow the user to configure the min and sync, in sync replicas for the cruise control topics. Um, they have it hard coded at one, um, which causes us issues for Strimzy because um, we have, uh, 
it's actually it's kind of complicated for me to kind of get into in conversation because I, if you read the description, it's kind of complicated. So for me to do it from memory is kind of difficult. Um, the problem is is that when for Strimzy, um, when we roll, um, we kind of get some error messages that um, the cruise control topics are uh, underreplicated um, based on kind of our default configurations. Um, we could fix this if we could configure some bits in cruise control, but those configuration options aren't, aren't available in upstream cruise control. So I've added those configurations in upstream cruise control, um, but they're saying, oh, we don't really have a problem with this. We don't see why we need this configuration. Um, and I said, oh, because you get, um, because the cruise control topics become unreplicated and they say, oh, these having the cruise control topics underreplicated is not really an issue, is not much of an issue. Um, so I said, well, we get errors. Um, so, I mean, obviously um, there's availability issues, which isn't really a huge issue agreeing with their argument with cruise control topics because more data is generated. Um, and then my other argument um, is that we get errors and they say, oh, you shouldn't, you should properly address, um, you shouldn't try to silence errors this way. It, it, I think it's just a misunderstanding on their part, but it's been kind of two weeks since I've opened the issue and I'm just trying to get um, a response there. So um, I advise just read through the issue. Um, I think the upstream cruise control issue that and the fix I have is valid and very reasonable. Uh, but I think we're just having a little, I think the behavior, I think we're getting a little unreasonable behavior from the cruise control maintainers, that's all. So I'm just figuring, I don't wanna wait. I mean, I don't know if it's gonna be another two weeks, another month. Um, if we can wait that long, we can hold off on this PR. Um, but I, like I said, I don't know how long it's gonna take. They just changed maintainers. There's a new maintainer on the cruise control project and they're still getting up to speed. And um, so, sorry, I'm, I'm talking a lot. Does that no, make no, any sense? Yes, your question, yeah, yes, yeah, no, yes, 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 absolutely. Uh, yes. So yeah, at the, yeah, I will go through the, I would like to go through the cruise control issue uh, and uh, even through your uh, PR in StreamZ because as you can see, Actually, I don't remember if I already went through it, but I don't think so. Maybe I missed this. And uh, yeah, so give me just one more time, a little bit of more time to, to go through and, and then we can, uh, I don't know, talk offline or uh, still on the PR or on the issue itself. At least that that's for me. Of course, my opinion is not the only one that we need, so. But uh, in general, I would agree with Jakub that it could be better having the proper solution uh, in cruise controls that you want to contribute. So uh, we should understand uh, or try to pursue, yeah, to, to the people from cruise control to accept that. It, it might help to have, I mean, just extra weight, um, maybe Jakub or Paolo, you as maintainers of another project if you could leave an additional comment, it might add some weight. It might add some extra weight. Um. Yeah, okay, as I said, I will go through both. Uh, the issue on cruise control and uh, your PR. Okay, the next PR is this one. So what are we going to do with this? Uh, obviously, Tom Bentley would be the right one to review this, but he doesn't seem to want to do it, so. I'm trying to ping Tom to have a review of this one. He already reviewed that, but 
uh, I insist that the fix is valid. Uh, it's not a big issue because it's only a problem with the error message. Not the error is correct, but the error message is uh, misleading. But I'll try to ping him. Okay. Can you please try to ping him once more? And if he doesn't react, I guess me and Paolo will need to decide this on our own. Okay. Start to her name. Okay, and then next issue. That was me. So um, yeah, just to to make uh, the community aware of this, in sense that uh, I would like to start, or we can discuss if it makes sense to start another kind of round of review. I mean, this is the workaround migration, so the deliver to craft migration. Now, this PR uh, has the three main steps around migration itself, so from the keeper to craft cluster, uh, the rollback, and uh, also the last piece that was missing about um, the automatic removal of the keeper when you migrate uh, and you finalize the migration. So, uh, we all know that. Um, um, right now, uh, Kafka 3.7 is not out yet, so um, this uh, actually cannot be tested uh, other than using a 361 image that is uh, in my private uh, query repo, uh, which has a patch. Uh, and that people like Lukash is using in order to add some system tests to the, to the PR. Um, so for sure, the PR cannot be merged anyway, because we have to wait for Kafka 3.7, but I would like, uh, yeah, to have people who have time, who are interested in this to, to take uh, a look. I already know that in the past, Jakub and Federico, uh, had the pass on that, leaving some feedback. I addressed the feedback. Uh, I don't know if on migration itself, you have some more comments, uh, other than the ones that I addressed. But now there are the other two pieces about uh, rollback and um, and um, and uh, the, to give a removal. So itself, the PR uh, can be reviewed. So uh, yeah, that's all. If I, if we want to move from draft to to green to open, or we want to leave as draft. But what I'm asking is, uh, I would like to start. To, to have review and feedback uh, if I need some to address stuff uh, and so on. I guess it should remain as draft since it's not mergeable. Yeah, okay. That's totally fine. Even if I have these labels I'm using in general, which is do not merge, but you know, maybe it's better having it as a draft. Yeah, the labels don't really disable the merge button here yes right okay any other prs or issues anyone wants to discuss if not i don't think there are any new proposals since last time uh there was a merge proposal from Mikhail about the metrics reporter, which would have better performance than the JMX reporter, which goes through JMX and can be quite slow. There was also a merged uh, proposal around uh, disabling the port disruption budget management. But what I wanted to do is to try to go through some of the old uh, PRs and see if we should close them at least uh, for the time being until someone manages to get back uh, to them. Would that make sense? Yes. Cleaning stuff is always a good thing. 
So I guess first one is the Azure Managed Identity Authentication. Uh, should we close it? Should we close it right now or uh, tagging the contributor or, or just saying we are going to close it uh, or unless you... I mean, it didn't add any update for two plus years. So I think we should just decide if we want to close it or if anyone plans to, from us, plans to pick up on that and continue. Okay. Or? No, yeah, I was saying that because... Um... So the discussion here didn't end with something like, uh, I don't know, are you still interested in contributing this? Uh, she said just that the, she was going to join the meeting and then I guess she didn't join the meeting or not. Right, but that was probably 2021, right? Yeah, okay, let's close it. like this I guess yep okay Another one would be this from Kate. What about this one, Kate? So this one's still blocked behind the CA abstraction one, um, but I am planning to pick up the CA abstraction one as my next piece of work once I get the current draft PR that I'm working on done. So after I've done that, then I would pick this one up. So I think we do still want it. So should we keep it or should we close it in the meantime? I mean, okay. nobody probably remembers what comments or discussions were there anyway, maybe apart from you. So I'm not sure what value there is to keep it. I guess the value would be that people do often ask for this feature. Um, that being said, I assume there's a related issue. So maybe it's okay to close the proposal for now and say, we are planning to pick this up, but we'll reopen the proposal at that point. I'm just seeing if I can find the related issue. Well, uh, I, I, I mean, even if there isn't issue, I'm not sure whether people running into proposal open without much update. Yeah. For several years is the best thing they should run into. No, yeah, I, I think let's close for now and um, I can reopen a new proposal because I don't know what shape that will take once the new CA instruction work comes in anyway, so. Okay, which brings us to the CA abstraction itself. So that one right. I am to update soon. I know you are working on this, but will you actually continue with this proposal or will you open new proposal on your own? So it will be the same proposal. So the changes that I've been working on at the moment are for a separate issue, but I have reread this proposal and the intention is still to go in this direction that's described here. So how will you work with the PR as it is owned by Tom? 
That is a good question. I will chat to Tom about it. Hopefully I'll be able to get permission just to push to his branch. But if not, I'll close and reopen with my own. Yeah, should, should we, should, should we just close it and you will yeah. reopen it when you are you will open your own when you are ready yeah because okay. even if you can push into his branch i guess you might not be able to accept suggestions and so on yeah yeah let's close and i'll, I'll reopen once yeah i, I agree that's a code so it's not like it's gone forever yeah that was what i was going to suggest it's better closing then. Okay, so the next one is Canary Roadmap. Yeah, so I wanted to discuss this uh, during today's uh, community call, but uh, it would be great to have uh, Tom B, which is an original author of the proposal on the call. And he said that uh, it's too bit early for him, uh, so we will try to discuss it in the next community call. But I guess that we can close this one and uh, reopen it after the discussion we will have. So should we close it now or? Yeah, I guess so. I can maybe create a new proposal from my branch. So as uh, Kate have for the C abstraction, so I can, yeah, add the suggestions and other stuff. Yeah, let's go this way, I agree. And it's just 5.30 uh, a.m. in New Zealand. Why it's too early for Tom? <laughs> he said it's better to attend the meeting at 9 p.m., so... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> He's not an early bird. Okay. I guess we are now getting to newer PRs. So it's not like this one is several years old, but it's not like there was much progress since October. So should we keep it? Do we want to think about it more or? Or what do we want to do with it? I don't know. <sighs> to be honest, yeah, as it happened for the proposal uh, two years ago, it, it doesn't make any difference October because anyway, there are three months that this guy, maybe it's not working anymore on this. So I will just close it. So as that's not several years old, should we maybe first ask what the plans for this are? If you prefer to ask, let's ask. But yeah, three months are three months anyway. I mean, it's at least not several years old, so. Okay, and, let's ask for the last time. And he opened, what was his name, Greg? He opened the keep in the Kafka community as well. So he did more work around this. So he might be interested to get back to it. Also, I think there wasn't much discussion in Kafka either. Yeah, I think the keep will have to be uh, accepted before this goes forward. Uh, I, I think uh, I think last time I replied to the keep is not come back. Um, so it's probably still a uh, ball is still, I think it's still in this camp. I'll double check, but uh, I think so. Uh, but maybe we'll just follow him with him to see uh, whether he wants to carry on with this or what are his plans.
So something like that, does that make sense? Yep. Okay, and so I think the rest of the proposals is more or less work in progress. So once again, it would be great if people can check out this proposal and comment, especially on the thing which is more related to the proposal and that's the names of the types for the quotas. Uh, which seem to be quite controversial, where I propose them to call them Kafka and Strumzy, and a lot of people didn't like it, so it would be great if we could get that resolved. And the tiered storage, the topic replication factor, and the one from Shubham, about the JBot disks in cruise control that seems to be in progress, so I think that's fine. Anyone wants to discuss any other proposals? If not, then I guess next part is issue triage. And we have just one issue for triage this time. Uh, it's about using cluster IP services for the internal connections because of some issues with cloud DNS uh, in uh, Google Container Engine, which doesn't seem to register the headless services. Uh, I don't know, my feeling about this was a, I guess this is super complicated, so this would definitely require a proposal to clarify how switching between the different modes would work and so on. But I also feel like this is quite a lot of work to implement, maintain, test, to do that basically just to address some bug in uh, Google DNS. So. Yeah, I'm not sure how to deal with this. Not sure what others think. Yeah, I have mixed feelings because as you, I, I think that maintaining and testing will be overkilling for us, I mean. And of course it needs a proposal for sure. There is no workaround, right, around this for them? <laughs> Not using GKE autopilot with cloud <laughs> DNS, I guess. So I guess if we don't want to reject it, we can mark it as proposal needed and we can explain that the proposal needs to clarify how it will be done, but also clarify the motivation and so on. Yeah. And maybe let's see if the user asking for that will be eager to write the proposal anyway and help on this.
So like this, does this make sense? Yep. Okay. So no triage needs proposal and to be honest I wouldn't put help wanted onto this because I don't think we want to pull any users not directly involved in this into this idea or yeah or I mean we don't want to if you are not sure about the motivation, we should not kind of advertise it to possible contributors through it. Okay, that's the issue triage. Uh, I also added just as a note that the Strumzy incubation vote is now uh, ongoing at CNCF. Uh, even if you are not a TOC member, if anyone wants, they can kind of support the vote by kind of giving it a thumbs up or whatever else on this uh, on this comment. And fingers crossed the vote will pass. And that's it for the agenda. Anyone has anything else to discuss? Any other business? If not, then thanks a lot for joining and uh, see you next time. See you. Thanks very much. Bye all. Bye.